Hi everyone, welcome back. This is Tuplex, and uh, we're going to continue building up our design for smelting. A um, couple quick changes, I suppose. Um, someone did tell me that I was doing the number of beacons wrong on the calculator. Um, you know, actually the column that says beacons, um, I was indicating how many beacons I wanted to have surrounding each machine. But actually, in that calculator, to use it properly, you need to indicate how many modules in beacons are going to be affecting your machine. So I essentially had to double the number of modules that I had. So instead of 12 on the calculator, I changed it to 24. <clears throat> And that consequently drastically reduced the number of machines that I need. So now instead of having uh, eight of these 60 furnace smelters, um, I'm only going to need, well, I need 120 furnaces doing, purely doing iron, um, which is going to be two of these, because each one of these has. Um, each one of these has 60 furnaces. So I really only need two of these to make iron. Um, <clears throat> and then for steel, uh, I think I'm going to need 200. Let me see. Well, yeah, steel, we're going to have to make a new design, a different design. I'm going to need 200 furnaces making steel. Um, but that's with a that's with a slightly different design. What I came up with for steel was something like this. I decided to go to go with a one to one setup for steel. All right, actually let's let's do this a little bit differently. Uh, here we go. Yeah, so we can have one furnace there separated by one space and then offset by a space. And then what I would do is have a requester chest for iron ore, right? Feed that into that furnace, have the, have the iron plates go into here to make steel and then have the steel come out into a requester chest like that. Okay. So this would be for making steel. <clears throat> but the difference here, though, is that each of these furnaces is only going to be affected by 10 beacons instead of 12. Yeah, instead of 12. Yeah, whereas the one the one for twelve is like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Right. Okay. Okay. Um so we'll have to we'll have to design the steel build and see how big that is and determine how many of those units we're gonna be able to get in there. Um, but for now we can start to put in the iron. Um, the thing is, I just don't know, I don't know like how far away I can put this. I don't know how far away I need to put this to make sure that I get my, my stacker and the, you know, and the, the equal, the equal length paths that I need. So I think I'm going to have to try to lay that out. Okay, so if the first one goes here, uh-oh. Okay, I think they're just removing trees. That's fine. Okay. 
All right, so let me get rid of that. And then this was what I had for spacing, right? So that would be the one, two that I need for iron. And then the one for steel would be there. Um, okay. <clears throat> so I think I'm gonna, I think what I'll do is I'll just send my train home for now. course I've got no path. There you go. All right. Yeah, I'm going to send the train home to get it out of the way. Um, <clears throat> so since we're going to do iron up here at the top, uh, it would really only be this last set of rails coming up, but I'll leave these other ones just because this is how we're going to have to come out. So let's, uh, I think what I should do next is try to design, let's try to design the steel so I can figure out how many furnaces we can fit in there and how many, how many of those we're going to need. Okay, so that way I'll be able to I'll be able to determine how many how many lines of iron ore I'm going to need in total coming in, right? <clears throat> so the input and output will look the same. It'll be you know a two eight two train full of iron, and then it'll be like this. Let's see, it'll be like one there and one there. Oops. All right, so it'll look like that. So we can fit two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, okay, so we can fit 11 of those in the same space, um, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, oh, I did that wrong, well, it would still be 11, but it'll be, it'll be one shorter, because for some reason I didn't share that first set of beacons. <clears throat> okay, so 11 times 2, 22. Let's just make sure. Yep. 22, 44. Okay, 22 on each side. Okay, and for steel, I'm going to need, how many did I say it was? 202. So 202 divided by 44 is four and a half. So I'm gonna need five. Um, and this will fit within the same height and length as the one for iron. Okay, so five for steel, two for iron, that's seven total. So I'll set it up for eight lines. Uh, maybe I'll just make a third one for iron. All right, so we'll do three, three iron and five steel. All 
Um, if you shift select something with your deconstruction planner, you cancel the deconstruction, by the way. That's what I was doing there. Okay. All right, so that means we're going to have eight. There we go. We're going to have eight lines of iron coming in. So that's two and so on. There'll be space like that. So what I need to do is I need to come from this line into a stacker. I'm just wondering if I really need a stacker. I, I need a stacker if I'm going to have more trains than I have stations, right? But I mean, I have this plan for one train every two minutes. I think that's what I estimated. Yeah, I think I should I think I should have a stacker. All right, so I'll put a stacker for say eight trains. That way I can have two trains for every one of these stations. I don't know if I'm going to need it, but All right, so that's two. That's four. Or no. That's two, that's three, four. Five. I think we can do this from map view. No, we can't. I can't see. Six. Seven. And eight. Okay. All right, so one, two, three, four. So in the middle of four and five is where I want my first branch to be. Okay, so let's see where the middle really is. So that's 60. There's 60 tiles in between. That's 30. All right, so between, oh. I'm not gonna be able to get exactly in the middle, am I? All right, let's count it in terms of tracks. Okay. Well, that makes it a little more difficult because there isn't one that's precisely in the middle. I would have to increase the space by one more. Okay, well, let's do that.
right, so that's the first one. And then the next one we want to put there instead. Okay, so that's one, two, this one's three, and then four. And five goes down there. Okay, and that one should be precisely in the middle. Is that this one will be branching like that, right? Because it comes down to the middle, or no, actually, it needs to go up to here, right? And then it's going to branch two more times. So that'll look something like this. Um, <clears throat> and this is all bidirectional. That could be a bit of a problem. No, I can have this unidirectional and then I can have the exits. I can have the exits come straight out. So let's see. Oh, nice. 
Okay, so we can stop launching rockets now, right? Well, let's see, how much is mining productivity? Eek, 2,500. Oh, there's more levels of this? Oh, okay. I guess there's no infinite research on that. All right. Well, let's do let's do some of this other stuff instead. We'll do inserters. We'll do breaking force. We'll do explosives, which I don't really need. We'll do trash slots. Okay, and then in the meantime, I wanna turn off I'll just turn off this one. I'll turn off this one too. Okay, so let's see how this looks once I get a couple of these put in here. Turn off my robo ports. Ah, good. Okay, yeah, so it would be like this. Of course, this assumes that my stacker is gonna fit down there. I think it should. Okay, and then the next one would go there. Nice. Okay. That'll work. Oh, thank you, gentlemen. All right. So let's get rid of that. Now, to come out, we could do this, you know, and just come out to the exit lane. We'd have some intersections that we would have to deal with. This is, yeah, I think that wouldn't be too bad. Okay. Yeah, I think we could do it that way. Okay, so we'll need to we'll need to mirror this on the other side. Um, let's see here. So that one goes down to here, I think. Oh, 
No. Okay. Yeah, I need to continue working my way down. So that's four, this is five. Down here is six. And between six and seven is where the next one has to go, which is over here. I don't have vision of the whole thing. Let's see if I can do it this way. Okay, that seemed to work. Yes, I already have. Okay, so let's bring my train over so I can refill. Uh, oh, great. <laughs> back to the supply station. Then you go in there and you go back to where you came from too. All right, now my train can come up. So I'll finish building this up and then we 
can put together a stacker. I think the stacker actually won't be too difficult. Not going to put any signals in here. All right, so there'll be a signal here, and then the next signal will be when it gets into the station. That way, this entire bracket thing will be treated as it'll essentially be treated as one block. Okay. Now this is going to be the iron line. So let's bring that down. Kind of like right about here. I'll just mark that so we can, yeah, so we can see where it goes. All right, so the stacker we can put right here. I don't know how long it needs to be. Somebody told me that in the settings, you can say how long, how many train, yeah, train visualization length. Let's increase that to 282 is 12. Ah, thank you so much. Great. Okay, so up here we're gonna have We'll have a signal there. And then down here we'll have chain signals. All right, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This needs to be longer. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. All right, that's twelve. So it's going to be a little bit south of that rock. Right there. Okay, let's check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Right. Okay, yeah, so the entrance for the stacker. I can't reach, I'm standing right here. Okay, so that'll be the entrance. that far apart and still be able to get signals in. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we have room for more lanes if we decide we need them. And 
I can still get to that uranium patch if I need it. I don't think I will. All right, let's get more rail. I'll just get all of it, get some more signals. Actually, I'll deconstruct this part. signal right there. Okay, and lesson learned. I'm going to put a chain signal there. That way when the train gets up here, it'll force it to recalculate its path. Because sometimes I've seen two trains before they get here, two trains decide they want to go in the same lane, and then the second train ends up stopped back here, and so this way it'll it'll force it to choose a lane. <clears throat> okay, and then they can get on the return lane over here um, on these exits. I'll have to figure out the exits. Because they can't come back the same way, obviously. Um, I suppose for that, this this side of the track should be repeated. So we can run this up all the way to the top. Should have done these with provider chests instead of storage chests. Okay. some rail somewhere else. There's a bot coming. <clears throat> okay. All right, so the first one will go there. We can do away with that. Second one will go there. <clears throat> and the third one will go here. Okay, so that'll be for iron, and then the other ones will be for steel. All right, now on the entrance here, we're going to need two signals. And then this will be the exit. Okay, and I'll put 
put some signals along here. Actually, we don't need so many signals. Oops. As a matter of fact, <clears throat> I'll put one there and I'll just, yeah, that's good. And we'll put one there. And then, yeah, I think I still need those. Okay, and then this exit. It's a little more complicated because uh, we're going to have a four-way junction that we need to take care of. Okay, and I'm not going to put any signals on this side of the junction. All right, so if there's any train at all, then this train is going to have to wait. Otherwise, it'll mess with the calculation of of having equal lengths on these things. All right. And there we'll need a junction. Well, no, we don't really need that there. We can just put one here. Yeah, that'll be fine. Okay, and so on down the line. How is that starting to look? Well, it's taking shape. Uh, all right. Yeah, you know, I was worried that we might not have enough space, but now that I look at this again, this is all my iron and steel, you know, copper, stone. So it might, yeah, it looks like I've got, I'll probably have enough room to make this all work. Um, I might have to abandon this oil patch and come down here to make room for smelting and stuff, but we'll see. Uh, but so far, I think this is all right. Um, what I'd like to do is get, at least get this first one built out and get a mine set up and then start to start to work with it and, and see how it functions. You know, make sure all the signaling and everything is correct. But, uh, so I think we'll, we'll start to work on that in the next episode. All right. Uh, until then, thanks a lot for watching and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.